what's going on good people of youtube we are back at it again switching up a little bit of the format here i uh, had to do a little bit more work on my side so you already know what we gotta do we gotta make sure the games keep rolling we're gonna have ourselves a triple header here so we're gonna have two pre-records here on sorry i got my days confused uh today <laughs> here on friday and we're going to go ahead and get that rolling here with Arizona at St. Louis should be a fun ride as always. Don't go anywhere, folks. The games keep on rocking and rolling, as you already know. But it should be a fun ride here. Two teams in the Western Conference. We just got off of a game that featured two Eastern Conference teams. But now we got St. Louis. They're trying to get their first dub on the season. While Arizona, they're trying to get win number seven. And they're trying to keep pace with the Huntington Beach Voyagers, see if they can secure at least this number two seed. They don't have anything secured quite yet, but a playoff berth is around the corner for them for sure. So shout out to the big homies there. We're going to keep on rolling as always. I'm going to hit this play game button, let it rock, and I'm going to jump in as I can so we can get everything all good to go. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Arizona and St. Louis. I will be jumping in when I can. And let's go ahead and get into it.
Okay, looks like St. Louis 
coming through with the big drive up to this point hitting the red zone looking for a pass going screen and that was a lot of calamity not to be Arizona defense led by Calvin Thomas Damian Chambers Mikey Jackson Trevor Halifax Reese Rockefeller too many players all the way through Tank Falco Jr. didn't even say his name and just a ridiculous set of uh, plays here. Going to look for a man. Throws a short to Ben Blazin, who's going to rumble forward down to the 11 yard line. Third and short coming up. St. Louis getting the stop and getting onto the field here with the solid drive. They're trying to get their first W, and they're off to a good start as they're going to set up in a third and one situation here. Hand off, there goes Namey, first down to the six. Arizona getting beat on defense so far. They better watch out for number 26. He's doing his thing now. First and goal coming. A lot of bodies here. Paris Glass there in the slide. They're going to send number 14. Jamal Allen, and they're going to try another screenplay. And once again, Arizona's defense not letting the big home at free is Naomi McNamerson. Second and goal coming up, and they're lucky because he had a lot of room to turn up and get into the color of the field, but not to be. St. Louis trying to give themselves a chance here. Second and goal. Going to pass it again. They left Namie open, but they're going to throw a short. He's running backwards. That's not going to be good. That's a loss of two. Jamal Allen there with that catch. Third and goal here. Arizona with another chance to keep him away from some points. Passing it, looking right side is going to be caught by Namie and tackled immediately by Dejon James. And Arizona defense holds strong in their own red zone. And we shall see the big homie Daniel Carlstown come onto the field. Put the first points on the board here for St. Louis. And this has been a big issue here overall on offense. Uh, St. Louis finds the way to move the ball down the field, but can't quite punch it into the end zone as that field goal is up and good. St. Louis is coming onto the board and taking the early lead. Arizona coming back onto the field. How would they respond?
win. They're trying to win. Look at St. Louis balling out. Another successful drive, I should say. But now they got to punch it in as they're going to go with the Wild Archer getting inside the 10. They're trying to win is St. Louis. Arizona yet to put up any points in this ball game. St. Louis, the only one with some consistent life. Four minutes left in the second. And Jim Carr trying to work his way down. Gonna pass this one. Looking for a man. Gonna go right side and tackled immediately by number 23. I believe that's uh who's that? Dane Jackson. That's Hugh. That's a uh, Hunter Jackson. I'm sorry. I thought it was Mikey the Thriller Jackson. But it's third and goal again. Arizona with another chance to keep them towards a field goal attempt. And this is what Arizona has been doing all season long. They've been one of the better red zone defenses all year. Looking for a man. Jim Carr taking off to run and throws it away. As it looks like Arizona's defense does what it's supposed to do when it's game time. And now it's fourth and goal. Should see Carlstown again out here to try to put another set of points up on Arizona. Not the game we've expected up to this point, but right now Arizona still keeping themselves in the game until the offense gets rolling. Kick is up, kick is going to be good, and it's going to be six to nothing in favor of the winless St. Louis Archers. Trying to get their first dub right here, so we can finally say that at least. Every team has had a W so far this season, but Arizona's not going to sit back and let it happen. They have a lot of heart in this offense, and we'll click back on when we see something else crazy happen.
17, 17, got him. He's going to sit right over the middle. Watch the middle. Single receiver.
All righty, Arizona. Starting to cook a little bit. Finally checking into the red zone. Well, they checked into the red zone technically in the last drive, I believe. We're close to it. Right side of caught. Getting inside the 10 is Jackson Rodriguez. Second and two coming, Arizona. Trying to get this lead with a touchdown. But this is their best opportunity for some points outside of what happened on that last drive. I did see the end of that second half. And... Arizona could not get into the end zone for whatever reason, but they got to back it up thanks to that penalty. Second and seven coming. Passing it here, looking for a man. Protection is decent, and he's going to take off to run. Going to use those legs and get all those yards back from the penalty. He's a little shy. Going to be third and one here. Third and one coming up. Arizona trying to pick this one up. They do have Tamara Jones in the backfield. 
He was having himself a slow day. The St. Louis run defense working overtime to make sure he doesn't get too crazy as they're going to pass out of it. They left the middle open not too long. They left the right side open and that will be a first down at the very least. And now set up Arizona at the one yard line. They collapsed on the tight end to make sure that he didn't get the open pass and they left Jackson Rodriguez right open. Almost was able to turn himself into the end zone, but first and goal coming up. Passing it here, middle field and incomplete. Okay, so it looks like Arizona had a chance to score. I believe they threw a pick or a fumble, one of the two, because St. Louis started at the 20. And it looks like they gave it back to Arizona. And now looks like we'll see what they could do from here. Got a long field ahead of them. Not a lot of scoring in this ball game. Action Jackson Jr. running out of time, throws it to his halfback to Mari Jones to give him some breathing room. 
as we're getting close to the end of the fourth here. Got a little time. I got a little break. So see if I can finish it out with you guys here in this fourth quarter. Arizona coming through with the offense. They got a long field ahead of them. And a field goal can help, but they need to score quick. So going with the pass here. Going to take off to run is action. Going to go ahead and get past the 20 and slide down at the 25. Using his legs on that play. It's first and 10 coming up. Oh, actually, that's Samari Jones. Nope. Oh, no. That was on the, the previous play, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I get you. That was, that was a catch, and then they didn't show up the stats until later. So we're going to keep it moving here. Action's flipping it up a little bit. They have... Big homie Sean McGowan in the backfield, but they're going to pass out of it left side and caught. And there goes Tamari Jones again. Pass the 35, they go. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Quick pitch there to the halfback, making it happen. First and 10 again. Looking for a man here, passing it right side, going to be caught. And that is going to be Jackson Rodriguez there. Second and five coming up. Second and five, big drop back here. They send the blitz, it doesn't get home, and the pass is going to be caught there by Amari Jones. But he's a little shy of the mark there. It's third and inches coming up. I formation here. And they do have the halfback. He's going to turn up and pick the first down. Looking for a spin move. Gets past midfield. 10 carries, 34 yards. And it's a little low on time. So not expecting a lot of run plays will be coming up from here on out here from Arizona. They got to get down the field. But luckily for them, they have a lot of time. They have all three of their timeouts. All they need is one great drive. And another defensive stop to make it happen. But that is a horribly timed false start. It's first and 15 now. A little bit of a hole to get out of. Quick adjustment there from action. Looking for a man. Protection's breaking down. Taking off to run. Using that speed to turn up. Getting those yards back. And reaching for the first down himself. Looking like the man I seen take Huntington Beach to the championship a couple seasons back. Putting it in his own hands. First and ten coming. What a play there. That was beautiful. As They're going to flip it again. Looks like they're going empty set here for action. He says they're going to let him sling it. He says he's ready to make it happen. Looking for a fourth quarter comeback and almost throws a pick straight to Orlando Wolfgang. He'll ready that time around. Second and 10 coming. Second and 10 here. Shotgun set. Going to pass it again. Looking right side and caught. There goes Rodriguez. They could settle for the field goal if need be, but you do have yourself an, yourselves an opportunity to potentially take the lead. I, I would try to utilize it. Me personally, a field goal would work out. Going to pass it here. Looking for a man is action. Going left side and caught. There goes Samari Jones inside the 15. Five and a half minutes left in the fourth. Arizona's cooking here. It's going to be first and 10 again.
Another flip here from this quarterback. Action Jackson Jr. back in the red zone. Looking for a pass again. Looking for a cut. Someone's trying to find a space and he's going to barely get that pass off. Is Action Jackson Jr. And I do see the interception right there. So maybe that is exactly where that uh, play happened right as I left. And it looks like the defense is making an adjustment here. Looking for a man left side and going to be caught. And there goes Big Sean making big plays. Hitting the Ric Flair on him like he know what, what to do with it. Nice job there. Great drive. Arizona's going to tie the ball game up here. And now their extra point from taking the lead. Kick is up and kick will be good. And Arizona's going to knock it through thanks to the leg of Mr. Gusto. And Arizona didn't have the lead all game long. But right in the later portion here in the fourth quarter. They have the ability to hold on and escape St. Louis, Missouri with the W. But the offense of St. Louis has been playing okay. Um, they only have six points to speak of. Don't get me wrong, but... They've been showing showing the ability to actually move the ball down the field. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can make it happen here. Gonna send this return here to Gum Arabic looking for a hole and he'll take it close to the 25 yard line. That's where they'll mark him. And it's gonna be first and 10 again. Let's see what the big homies in St. Louis can do. They have all three timeouts and a full four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock to do something. Passing it again on the run, finds his man. There goes Paris Glass, the tight end, making it happen. That gets him close to the 40. Game ain't quite over yet. A great pass there from Jim Carr on the run. He's not really known for those off-the-cuff, off-the-hip type of passes, but he made it work on that one. Passing it, looking for a man. Protection's breaking down. Trying to avoid the rush. And Calvin Thomas is he's gonna sit him down for the sack. Damian Chambers was breaking free too. Pushed him to the inside of the pocket. Look at the rush right there. Okay, Damian coming from the left side, and then that moved him right close there to number 77. The defense making it happen here. Now it's second and long. Coming up here for Arizona's defense. Looking to get some more pass rush. They send four. They don't get home. And that was almost picked off by AJ. But he couldn't hang on, though. It's third and 16 now. They could very well punt the football here. They don't need to go for it. They have all of their timeouts. So if they could hold them to three. They could give themselves a chance. Going to pass it. Going to actually going to take off to run. He's not going anywhere with that. Not much he could do there. It's fourth and nine coming up. I wouldn't go for it me personally or essentially setting up Arizona another chance to get some points. I say punt it. Trust your defense to get three quick stops and then keep it moving. Potentially pin them as well. You never know what safety could give them the lead as well. If they could find a good punt down the field. Bouncing at the 10, and they'll take him to the seven yard line, make it the six. And that's exactly what you got to do sometimes. Now, you got to lean on that defense, get the stops you need, make it happen. Not my apologies for not being here on the last portions of the game, but I'm going to go ahead and get a ping out real quick for y'all. Interesting, interesting. Going to fake the handoff here. Going to go and launch it in the middle of the field and almost throws a pick. And that was number 11 right there. I think that was Garrett Hart. 
If I can remember my numbers correctly, that could have been a little dangerous. And that was exactly what St. Louis is looking for. It does stop the clock and they don't have to use their timeout either, which is even more interesting here. Arizona's leaning towards not running the football, or at least on that first play. Maybe that pass will change him up a little bit. No, it is not. It's going to be a safety in Arizona. They're in a bad spot because St. Louis is going to get the ball right back. The pass rush gets home. They went with the play action. And St. Louis is two and a half minutes away from getting the W. Arizona's defense needs to come up clutch. And not a fan of the play calling here. You have the lead. You have to run the football in these situations, especially so close to your own end zone. Can't be putting your team in situations like this. But a great rush there from the free safety, making it happen. Arizona has to punt it away. And St. Louis can wind this clock down. Of course, more clock is coming off the board because it's not going into the end zone. And St. Louis, they had... They do not have a better chance of winning this ball game than right here, right now. If they want to get the victory, they're going to need the first down. And we'll see if St. Louis follows the same suit of Arizona and not running the football in this situation. I think Arizona's playing a little bit with their food in this ball game. And now it's coming to bite them as they're going to try the stack run play and defense stands tall and back them up even further. They could decline it so they could try to get off the field, but... The first and 20 gives them a better chance to at least keep them away from getting the first down. So I understand that play call. First and 20 coming up here. Interesting game here for sure. St. Louis has to get past the 41 yard line. Going to go throw it right side. It's going to be caught, but I don't know if he actually completed it. He actually did going to be second and 19 and they went out of bounds with that one so Arizona came through as big beneficiaries out of this one and they still have all their timeouts and the two minute warning and they're going to try the ground game again and this time the defense of Arizona stands solid they'll call their first time out here Third down and 20. Hank Falco with yet another tackle on the game. Passing it again. Looking middle field and caught. Turning up. Going to get close to the first down mark, but not to be in Arizona's defense. They stand tall. And they'll give themselves yet another chance here to potentially win this ball game. So five catches, 50 yards there for Deshaun Richardson. Deshaun James there bringing them down. And here comes big homie Carlstown looking for another pin. But this time it will be returned. Here comes Uncle Swoosh, and he gets smacked at the end of that play. And hopefully for Arizona, that isn't the last time Uncle Swoosh gets the football. We've seen earlier this season, he came through with the last second touchdown victory catch. Maybe he's a guy that they could lean on in this drive. St. Louis playing spectacular defense all game long, looking for a man again, middle of the field, and caught. And there goes the first down play there to Jackson Rodriguez getting to the 30. And keep in mind that Arizona doesn't need a touchdown here. They only need three. And they're around, I want to say around 40 yards away from solid field goal range. And they got plenty of time as they move to the no huddle. Uncle Swoosh at the bottom of your screen. You can't see him. He's right next to the big homie, Big Sean, looking for a man middle of the field. And it's going to be caught. And they'll take it to the 36. They got to keep the chains moving here uh, a minute and a half left in the fourth Arizona and they did can, kind of get bit um, kind of got bit with the bad setup here second and five coming up 
Going no huddle. They need something quick. Left side and wide open. There goes Samari Jones inside St. Louis territory. I'll say around 15 yards. And there's some really good field position here. 57 seconds. They could keep it moving here. And they left them wide open. Shed off the tackle there. A 420 blunt smoke. They're going to keep the no huddle. Why not? And another false start. Luckily enough for them, it does stop the clock. And they don't have to burn a timeout. So this next play will be critical. Stacked wide receiver set at the bottom of your screen. Here comes Arizona. Action Jackson Jr. Right side. They ain't going to be incomplete. Punched out in the hands of Uncle Swoosh. Great defense there. Second and 15 coming up. It'll be a long field goal from here. It'll be like a 65-yard field goal, so I don't think this will be optimal if they wanted to try that one. St. Louis quick switch, quick pass, and right side of caught. And they caught him slipping. That's going to get him to the 30. 25 seconds left here. And that definitely puts them in field goal range. They left big homie Amari Jones wide open. And they're going to keep it moving here. They're going to see if they can get closer. They're going to take off to run. They're going to throw this one away. And they're going to go ahead and send this one to the sidelines. Arizona with the chance for the walk-off victory. Javon Gusto. Looking forward to walk off field goal to win the game. And St. Louis should call the timeout. And they will. They're going to go ahead and ice the young kicker right here. And I believe this is his fourth game. He's already had some big kicks. And so far, he's been coming through in the clutch here for Arizona. Moving on from the big homie Felix De La Chon. Who no one decided to pick up in free agency before the rosters got locked. We'll see if he makes an appearance next season in season 11. But right now, it's all on the leg of Gusto to make it happen here. From 47 yards out. The young kicker says he knows what to do with it. From the left, from the right hash, and he misses it to the left. And St. Louis survives. One and eight on the season is here. And Javon Gusto shanked it. That is unfortunate. And Arizona is going to fall to six and three on the season. That is crazy. As Jim Carr, he could finally say that he got himself a, got him a victory here in St. Louis. It took him a while. But Arizona's going to come up fruitless in this one. Final score is 8-7. to seven. And what was a barn? Not necessarily a barn burner. It was an offensive and defensive struggle on both sides. Just a ridiculous game all the way through. But what a great job there from St. Louis. Sticking with it. Getting the victory. And I knew it was a matter of time. Me personally. I, I didn't think any team was going to go 0-12. A lot of people were saying that before the season started. It's like, look. These teams are a lot closer than... Y'all probably think right here. <laughs> so great job once again. Um, Action Jackson Jr. He played a solid game, but they just had too many opportunities opportunities that they let slip through their fingers here. 25 for 37, 260. One touchdown, one interception. Uh, on the other side, Jim Carr, he wasn't the most efficient himself. Well, not the greatest of efficiency. He's 16 for 29, 134. Um, sub 50. I mean, sub 60% completion percentage, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, looking at the longest passes, 24 yards there. On the other side, Naming McNamerson uh, leading the way in rushing, 17 for 76. Uh, Tamari Jones, 10 for 34. And he had a chance, but they just decided not to run the football. And, like, I, they had a chance. They, they had the lead, and they lost it with the safety, in my opinion. And they had a chance to do it again, but they missed the field goal. Just too many opportunities um, that they need to get right. Uh, but Arizona's still a very tough team in their own right. Just got to make sure that you get those things taken care of. Unfortunate there. And I already know I'm going to be hearing it. 
in the in the DMs when this game is over. <laughs> but hey, I don't control the game. I just put what y'all tell me put in and let it rock. And this is what rocked out of this one. But we're going to talk about these receivers real quick. It looks like Deshaun Richardson led the way here for uh, St. Louis with five for 50. Naming McNamerson four for 17. Jamal Allen, three for 21. Ben Blazin, two for 23. Paris Glass, one for 13. And that's a bot player. We don't care about those. Um, no drops here. That's that's definitely big here for St. Louis. Um, and it looks like the longest catch goes to Richardson and Allen, each having an 18-yard reception. Um, on the other side, the leading catcher will be Jackson Rodriguez, 9 for 64. Tamari Jones, 6 for 71. I mean, Tamari Jones, 6 for 71. Amari Jones, 5 for 73. Um, let's see. Sean McGowan, three for 35 and a TD. Uncle Swoosh, a slow day for him. Only two catches and 17 yards. And I believe those two catches was all in the second half. So definitely something they need to tighten up with for sure. A few drops here. Sean McGowan, Uncle Swoosh, and Amari Jones. He's had one drop. And the longest catch went to Amari Jones there for that 24 yarder. Uh, great job there. Um, defensively, here for Arizona, looks like Hunter Jackson and Tank Falco each had eight on the regards to the tackles. AJ Frost there six. Um, Calvin Thomas had five. Dejon James had four. Reese Rockefeller had four. Jay Underwood had four. Damian Chambers had three. Dax Brightmore had three. Brett Eisenhower had two. Tyler Rogowski had two. Bruno Davis had two. Mikey had two. Uh, Trevor Hal oh, not Trevor Halifax. Yeah, Trevor Halifax and Frederick Kaiser each had one. Um, Hunter Jackson had two tackles for loss, where Eisenhower and Falco had one. Sack wise, Damian Chambers another solid day from him. He had two sacks, and Calvin Thomas had four. No ints here. Um, looking at the other side, pass deflections. Mikey and AJ each had two. Tank had one. No fumbles or anything like that. So that is going to be set up right there. Um, on the other side, uh, the leading tackler will be Christopher Baker with seven. Orlando Wolfgang with six. Garrett Hart with six. Tristan Mitchell with five. Gomerabic with three. Jesse Label with three. Stevie Glades with three. 420 Blunt Smoke with three. Bradford Dex to get in his first official W. Shout out to my boy B Dex. He's going to get three tackles today. Um, and he also got a sack too. Great job. Uh, Franklin McKinnon, uh, his running mate on the D line. He also had three tackles. Great job. Uh, Rock Blazer there with two. Cliff Allen with two. Um, let's see. And that's all the users there. Um, tackles for loss. Looks like Blazer and McKinnon each had one apiece. Uh, looks like Garrett Hart had a sack. Bradford Dexter had a sack. And Tristan Mitchell had a sack. Um, those are all bot players there for that split right here. So nothing to worry about that. Um, Rock Blazer, the interception there in the end zone, I believe. Um, so great job there. Pass deflections, Orlando, Wolfgang, and Garrett Hart each had three. 420 Blunt Smoke had one. Uh, no fumbles, no recoveries, but there is a safety. So make sure you get that. That is Garrett Hart that had the game, essentially game winning safety. So good job there. Um, on the other side, um, we got to see um, Daniel Carlstown two for two doing his thing on the field goals, and he didn't do any extra points, so he made all the points that he needed for them. And then Javon Gusto, he missed the, the clutch field goal there, 47 yards out, his only attempt, and it just went a little bit to the left, and that was going to be all she wrote there. Missed, made his extra point, though, so he's going to bring in one point. Punting wise, Daniel Carlstown. It looks like Daniel Carlstown won this battle here. Um, he averaged 50 on six punts. Javon Gusto averaged 47 and some change, almost 48 on four punts. Uh, kick return wise, they both had three. Um, Uncle Swoosh had the better average there, 27 as opposed to 20 and a half. Um, punt return wise, Uncle Swoosh, I think he beat him out again, 26 to 24. So. Great job all the way around on the stats. And then we're going to go straight into the setup here where St. Louis got a field goal from Carlstown and then another one from Carlstown. The third quarter, they had a chance to score and they fumbled the bag was Arizona. And then in the fourth quarter, they had another chance to score, fumbled the bag, but the end, they did score a touchdown, but they should have scored again. And actually, I didn't say this earlier. They had a chance to score in the second quarter right before the half ended, but they did not do it. And then they had a safety um, that they let by with St. Louis's Garrett Hart taking down Action Jackson Jr. in the red zone or in the end zone 
and that pretty much gave him the lead. Arizona had a chance, and they missed the long field goal, the 47-yarder, to potentially win the game. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. We still have one more game tonight, so we're going to go ahead and flip it on its head. Let me go ahead and put that up for you. It's going to be the big homies in New York taking a trip to Charlotte, North Carolina to face off against the Royals, the undefeated Royals. And what what is an interesting ball game? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to see what is going to happen with this one. New York, they have life. Charlotte, they're still balling. Can't wait to see how it goes down. I know y'all can't wait either. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll be back on Twitch. Let's go ahead and do it. Ah.